paddled the Kettle River many times in my life, but not for over 20 years. So I was really looking forward to seeing the river and how much it may or may not have changed. This 30 kilometer section of the river we paddled required above average canoe skills as there was a lot of maneuvering through smaller rapids and also a portage and a section of rapids that you need to line your canoe down. Shannon and Kurt joined me for this adventure in late July 2022. First thing we did was leave a vehicle at our takeout spot, and then we all jumped in my truck for the 45 minute drive to the put-in. July 21st, and we're heading out the Christian Valley on an adventure. Here's Kurt's backpack. Oh. High tech. Uh, yeah, I've got underwear in here. I've got medicine. I've got medicine in here. Glasses. Chapstick? Yeah. Don't let me use the chapstick. I've got, I've got an Advil. I've got a couple Advil. And uh, I've got these little brown pills. They help me pee. Because I'm 60. <laughs> Are you going to lend me the chapstick? I got, I got enlarged. Huh? Are you going to lend me the chapstick? No. <laughs> Never lend the chapstick to Aaron. <laughs> Ever. I don't know where he's going to use that. Once we got to the put in, we loaded the boats and we were off. How was that? That was good. Fun? Yeah, a little bit tiring, but it was fun. Taking a rest. Daytime temperatures were in the low 30s, so we made sure to take lots of shade breaks and fishing breaks. You got a whitefish in here? Look at this bit here. Let's, let's go to the right. So back paddle, back paddle. Stop for a second. Can okay, go forward? Now slow this down again. Okay, draw right. Draw right. Okay, we're good now. I just wanted to make sure we buy that. Slow this down. Okay, now go left. Tricky technical water. Oh, we spent the rest of the day paddling, fishing, and relaxing in the shade whenever we could.
It was about 4.30 when we picked a spot to camp. This is camp. Camp Aaron? How was your day? I've got sore shoulders. <laughs> How many operations do you have on them? None yet. <laughs> we put up camp back off the rocks in a nice little cedar grove and then we got dinner going. After supper, we all got the fly rods out and fished the beautiful pools in front of camp. Double header? Where is he? He's right coming right here. Oh. He's a white fish. <laughs> Shannon got a fish. <laughs> She's on the scoreboard. Yes. And oh, a white fish. Right. Got him? Oh. Fish just exploded on my bobber twice. Again. Okay, get me a dry fly rod. Can you grab me another rod there, Kurt? That has a dry fly on it. Oh man, Kurt, I just got a big fish. Yeah. Kurt, where are you? Come help me. Grab the net. Oh my God, this is such a big, fish. <laughs> so nice. No, but it's a beautiful big fish. The big red stripe down it. That's a 20 inch fish. <laughs> That feed us for a week. That is a 20 inch fish. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. Wow. It's a sturgeon. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! <laughs> that is so worth the trip. Holy cow. Oh. God, that's beautiful. <laughs> Big fish. <laughs> what a dry fly. That is awesome. Oh, wow. Very exciting. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Good job, Aaron. Well, we caught a couple more fish before the night was done, but that was definitely the biggest. Nice. Well, here we are, morning of day two. Curtis is really, really tired and sore. <laughs> it's a Milo. Shannon's still pretty, pretty fresh, but she's the youngest, so that's expected. Got a long day ahead of us.
<laughs> you can edit it out if you want. This is Aaron picking the bee sting stinger out of his butt. It's not turned on though, I can tell. Ten bee stingers out of his butt. Is it actually turned on? I think so. I can see you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he came through the woods like a bear. We scared the crap out of us. It sounded like a bear. <laughs> Except it, except, and you were screaming right at the same time. Too. <laughs> oh, I've got like 10 bee stings. You try running with your pants around your ankles and bees stinging you. It was pretty funny though. <laughs> oh, this is so fishy. Fishy, fishy. Today we are going to have to do a portage and line our boats down a long rapid. So we did a lot more paddling and a lot less fishing. There's a big drop and a canyon that you have to portage your canoe around. It took us about an hour and three trips to get all in here. Pack that, pack that. Yep. Good job. Right after the canyon, there's a fun set of rapids that you get to run. That's kind of right where we're going now. Draw left just a little. That's good. Just tell me if you can see any rocks, because I can't see. Okay, draw left just a little. That's good. Hey. Left. Okay, right now, just like that. Perfect. 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 Left a little. Got a new passenger in the boat. Look at this. Not feeling so great. Either too much sun, too many oysters, or too much sex. <laughs> Probably not the latter. So we got a new passenger in the pack raft. Way better looking. Better smelling. <laughs> Lining a canoe is a way to get through rapids that are too difficult to paddle in a way that's much faster than portaging. You basically walk along the river with ropes on both ends of the canoe and you maneuver it through the boulders. It's slippery, a bit dangerous and tiring, as Kurt and Shannon were about to find out.
that was the most dangerous part. It wasn't dangerous. It was, the broken legs. Well, oh yeah, that way. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I agree. Okay, keep going forward. This isn't the spot yet. My memory was at this fork in the river, I used to go left. But seeing it for the first time in over 20 years, that didn't look right at all. So we went right. If it is, it changed a hell of a lot and we're not going left. <laughs> Unfortunately, the camera in the front of the canoe died, so you have to watch me. But I wanted to leave this part mostly unedited okay. because okay. it shows just how much you have to communicate with your partner in these okay. shallow technical rapids. Slow us down now. Let's get around it. Behind it. Yeah. Draw behind it. Okay, good. Perfect. I just can't see you when you're right in front of me, so you, I'll just have to... No, no, just let me know if you see something. Left. Go left. Okay, that should be good. Now slow us down. Slow us right down, right almost to a stop. I'm going to jump out here. It's almost to a stop. Okay, I got it. Okay, now you can jump out to the right. Until that point, <laughs> not much we could do. The most important thing is not to flip. Yeah. Just standing up for a second. Uh, nothing looks good. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Let's do that. I want to I'd rather drag it through there than drag it down the rocks there. We're gonna go down here. I'll probably just push it through here and then we don't have to bounce our way down. Ramming speed. <laughs> oh, so close. <sighs> yep. We are afloat. You know, let's go straight here. Not quite yet. Now, let's take out between the alligator and the lawn chair. This weekend <laughs> you don't want to know what I learned <laughs> I'll go paddling with Aaron he's bossy <laughs> he's bossy he's very bossy <laughs> but we needed it so it yes good. we had a great time thank you guys and we caught a 20 inch fish yeah. yes we did 
Well, I, I'm the one that put, put him in the net. Technically, you caught him. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes, bossy, but this was Shannon's first time canoeing on more technical moving water, and Kurt's first time paddling on a river, period. So in these situations, I'm acting more as a guide than a friend. But it was an amazing trip, brought back tons of memories for me, and created a lot of new memories for all of us. And I can't wait to go on another trip with these guys next year.